Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a very special review today. I am asked more than anything else ever online, what is your favorite Halo Mega Block set? And it has always been the Red Hornet versus Covenant Watchtower. I just think this set has more to offer than we've ever got in any other set, period. And I'm talking about what figures were available at the time, new molds introduced, I'm talking about legendary vehicles, and this beautiful watchtower, which I don't think uh, even the new Mega Constructs watchtower has anything compared to this. Anything compared. This is, and I will go on record and say, my favorite set ever made. And it's a real pleasure to finally review it on this channel. I've never had all the pieces in one place. I mean, certainly I have in the attic, like everything's stored away, but it's just, I got hold of a big lot. I had this available and this is one of many episodes of my nostalgia series where I've been going through just all the classics. And in the previous episode, I had a look at the Red Troop Transport, which when you compare side by side, they were just made for each other. They're absolutely beautiful. Let's talk about these figures first. And I think by the end of this video, you'll agree that this this is really one of the best sets, if not the best set ever made. I, I I, just, I don't know. Obviously, you look at things like the Falcon Sweep and you say, oh, Simon, that comes with all of Noble Team. Obviously, that's the best set. But all of those Noble Team figures are just reused. The Falcon I'm very excited for. Believe me, the Falcon Sweep will be legendary. In this set, we had a brand new introduction to the Jackal. It also came in the short sword at the same time, but this one came with a red shield, which is just so dope, and a colored carbine. It's very rare to actually get a colored weapon in a normal release set that isn't one of the lower tiered ones like a drop pod or a combat unit or a weapons pack or Halo Heroes. Usually it's hard to find them, but this colored carbine, and it's funny because colored carbine, it actually came in with the Halo uh, Blind Bag Series 2 Spartan as well, which was quite funny. So maybe they just had it uh, at hand. But this Jackal is certainly the most highly detailed figure we'd got up until this point. The red frills across its body, the really insane detail on its tongue, eyes, teeth, and this backwash that gives it a really weathered effect. This red shield is dope, and the colored carbine, of course, and then this metallic silver armor running into grays. It's the best, and all those silver details. It's the best figure we had so far. The equivalent of a Halo Heroes tiered figure nowadays. I was just so in love with it when it first came out. And we also have two other figures, which keep in mind, these were brand new molds at the time as well. We have the pilot now in red and we have the Hayabusa in red, which everyone's going to say the red Hayabusa is the king. Like, come on. It's one of the best figures. Look at it. It's one of the best figures still. It holds up against new articulation. It's legendary. That gold visor is awesome. And it's cool that he has a blue visor that are contrasting. Then these white highlights are just so nice. Shame we'll never get a Hayabusa again because of licensing issues, but we've looked at a lot of Hayabusas recently. In the Wraith, we had the orange Hayabusa and the yellow Hayabusa in the Pelican. We've got red and we've also got blue and pink in blind bags. They're legendary, man. They're legendary figures. I love this cream effect on his uh, inner thighs and arms as well. It's it's a 10 out of 10 for me. With the Magnum and the uh, Katana, you can't get much better. You like, you literally can't get much better than this selection of figures. This was definitely the best they had to offer on release. Then we've got this Covenant Watchtower. Just all of it, really. Like, look at that. Like, definitely there's a lot to be desired there. But in saying that, it does hold its own. So all of these pieces clip into the bottom. And yeah, there's a lot of new molding here as well. There's some reused pieces for sure. For example, these from the original turret. But once you slot it all together, you'll see it's just, it's a cut above the rest, man. Like it's such a nice watchtower. The Jackal has a carbine, so it's more like a Jackal sniper on top, which is a cool touch. And yes, although it does fall apart, you know, like, don't get me wrong. This thing is flimsy as anything. But I just think it's so bulky. I love that rod, like you would actually be able to fling yourself up through there. I love all the gray details on these pieces on the top. It's a 10 out of 10, guys. It's a, like, it's a solid 20 out of 10. It's so beefy, like it's massive and nothing compared to, or like the new one is nothing compared to the size of this one. And then of course, my baby boy. I came across a lot, a job lot back in the day, a haul video where I got loads of red hornets. I think it was one of my classic haul videos. I got a load of red hornets and I ended up just keeping them all. Like I resold a lot of the stuff, but I kept all the red hornets. I had them slung, uh, sort of wired up from the top of my bedroom ceiling and they were all flying along in unison and I was just so deeply in love with them. The original gray hornet is a travesty. It falls apart instantly. So they came, uh, the, you know, they came ahead and they really just fixed all those problems 
with this Red Hornet. It's a very sleek mold. It has these rotating turbines, these wings at the back. It has these little rods that insert onto there. It's 3D. It's realistic. It's lifelike. I love it. The stickers are all over. The stickers aren't like the best part of this, for sure. Like those Vs are a bit weird, but they do their job. And these missile pods as well with the black highlights are great. And then the sliding cockpit, man. That is so dope. I remember I was just playing with this so much when I was a kid. It was like so legendary to me. I love that gray detailing on the back. There's a huge amount of new molding with this thing. And then the spinning chain gun was also a really good touch for me. Let me know, guys. Do you think this deserves my praise? Do you think this is one of the best, if not the best set ever made? I just think when you value the uh, innovations in this set, when you value all the different new pieces, all the new figures that were available, at the time, I just thought this was the greatest set they'd ever made. The most that any set had to offer, certainly offering both Covenant and UNSC in one set. And I don't think it's been topped since, to be honest with you. A lot of my bias is nostalgia for sure, but there is so much to offer with this set anyway. Let me know if you were able to bag this at the time, or maybe now you really want it after this nostalgic review. I'm hoping this, all these nostalgic reviews really do uh, sort of awaken something inside everyone that uh, really wishes for those old days of mega blocks and uh yeah thank you as always for tuning in thanks to my patreons who just for three dollars or more a month are supporting the continuation of this channel and as always you stay awesome you stay safe out there folks and the hornet is signing off dun, 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 dun.